Millions of people with federal student loans will see up to $20,000 of debt wiped away soon. News Channel reporter Karen Cruzardunia joins us live from Santa Maria. And Karen, you have more on the timeline that folks need to know about. I sure do, CJ. First and foremost, the application right now is closed. It's actually not available at this time just yet, but that will soon change in the next coming weeks. Nowadays, four-year universities are very expensive to attend, and students like Kayla Fulton want to avoid student debt. She says the best way to save money is by starting a community college for the first part of her education. I work right now, so I'm trying to save up with that, and then I have the support of my parents, thankfully. So I think with that combination of me just going to university for only two years, it's going to help a lot more save money for both of us. <laughs> Alyssa Zepeda is also on the same boat. She says she really wanted to attend school out of state, but that changed when she found out she had to pay $16,000 out of her pocket for tuition alone. I would have been in so much debt, like it's insane. So Hancock's really helping out with that. Everything's great. President Biden has a new student loan forgiveness beginning in the next few weeks. According to the federal student aid website, the U.S. Department of Education will provide up to $20,000 in debt relief to federal Pell Grant recipients, and up to $10,000 in debt relief to others who received federal loans. You can't make more than $125,000 a year to be eligible for it. The community college president says students start here at Hancock College to save money before transferring over to a four-year university. The campus offers the first year of tuition free to students. We would like to see is more investment in education, more investment like in our Promise program, so we're doing our best to keep student debt low. The application will be available in the beginning of October. For now, live in Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Karen Cruzorduña. CJ, back to you. All right. Thank you, Karen.